And that's an A, everyone. I'm Angie B, and you're watching a 313 Hobby Me video. And if this is your first time to my channel, welcome. If you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. Thank you guys so much for taking some time out of your busy day to watch my video. I really appreciate it. In today's video, we're going to be looking in at some seeds that I planted and set on my grow shelf under the grow lights using a DIY method. And I shot a video showing you guys how I put these together. So if you're interested in seeing that uh, process and seeing where we are so far, please stick around. I started some cantaloupe seeds on February 15th and today is February 21. And I just looked in, I've been seeing them, you know, as I walk past the grocery shelf, but I took a close look today and this is what I saw. Now these are toilet paper roll, empty toilet paper rolls that I made by just simply folding them to make them into a square and cutting them down. I saw that on a YouTuber's uh, channel and I thought that's a good way to save some money. And it does act like those little grow pods. Um, I'm trying to understand how do you keep the mold from growing? I really did not anticipate that. Maybe I should have squirted the outside with some peroxide solution or something. But um, I took these and I set them under a dome so that they would germinate. Actually, I started these particular seeds using the Ziploc baggie method. And they all germinated. And these are the watermelon seeds from uh, Homestead Heart. Every last one of them germinated, the ones that I planted. And I would go by periodically and water them. The soil, oh look at there, I see a little gnat. Well, no wonder. The gnats are in the soil. Well, that's not good. Well, I gotta get something to get rid of that because that's gonna be a problem. But as you can see, we've got some really good growth. Now I wanna up-pot these, and I wanna up-pot them into here. But I just, I just noticed that gnat on the top. So the gnats have probably gotten in there and um, in the soil. I honestly wanted to just take this chunk of soil and put it in, but not with that going on. And I'm not sure if uh, taking the seedling out of the soil is going to disturb anything but it's only it's only five seeds so worst case scenario i have to start again uh, which i already have some outdoors uh, uh, in my winter sowing so i just wanted to try these on the inside and see what would happen and i see what happens so I want to take these out of this soil completely rinse the roots and then i want to put them in the new soil and then I'm going to hit it with some peroxide solution. So I'm going to go and do that and see what, see what happens. I'm just going to peel this off and I don't see any roots on the outside so it should be okay.
Okay, so I'm just gonna take them all out of the soil, place them in this colander, and then go rinse them off. I have to go to the basement to do that. So let's just get the rest of them. So I rinsed off as much of the soil as I could. <clears throat> I didn't want to go like shaking off the rest or anything. That's that's good enough as far as I'm concerned. So I'm gonna go ahead and make kind of make a hole that's deep enough to accommodate the root, and I want to plant it the same way I took it out of. The other pot and that's basically just the roots are in there so that's that's how it was in the other soil. Once I get everything potted, I'm just going to uh, spritz them. The, the soil has been moistened, and I'm just going to spritz them with a peroxide solution since we have those gnats over there. So see if we can handle that. So that's one. So these are the rest of them. I'm just going to lay them out. And this is a little bean. I'm going to get that potted up as well. <clears throat> Matter of fact, I'm going to go ahead and Put that bean in here. So that's how I'm going to put the bean. Get the rest of the watermelon seeds planted.
This one's pretty long. Okay, so that is it for recovering from this disastrous uh, situation. So I'm, um, I'm thinking that these are really good ideas, but I'm wondering how, if I need to, maybe I'll just sit those on grow mats as opposed to covering them with a dome. Um, I think maybe I'll try that instead because the dome obviously was good for the seeds because, you know, they did well. But it also made a good home for the gnats. So I'm going to give these all a good drink. I'm going to spritz them with peroxide. All right, I just uh, watered everything. I also spritz the soil with a solution of peroxide and water, filtered water. And this is what we have so far. Okay, so the the white cups are cantaloupe and the green is um, watermelon. So that's it for the gnat situation, guys. Cross your fingers for me. Please don't forget to thumbs up this video. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already a subscriber. And if you hit that bell icon, you can help me keep track of what's going on with these gnats at 313 Hobby Me. Thanks again and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye for now.